Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Brody Precision. In this video, we are continuing a series of videos that we started a few years ago on certificates and Niagara. If you haven't watched those videos already, um, you can click on the link in the description box below um, and they will take you there. I highly recommend you checking them out if you haven't already, even if you don't necessarily have a use case for uh, using certificates in these ways, I think it's helpful to know it now that this is becoming more and more of a, a requirement on jobs. So this week we got a support ticket that um, the user wanted to make use of one of these CAs that they created themselves and were signing uh, certificates with. Uh, they wanted to make use of that on iOS devices. So they wanted to connect to their supervisor that had a certificate that was signed with a CA that they had created. Um, the documentation on this is pretty lacking, surprisingly. Uh, so I figured it seemed like the logical extension of this uh, Certificates and Niagara series. All right, now let's step through the process. A uh, pretty painless process here. Uh, you can see I've got my phone mirrored up here on the screen, and I'm trying to install a CA that will let me get to this sslteststbpedata.com and I want to do it with uh, uh, the certificate that's installed out there at that supervisor which is something that I signed with my CA. So the first thing we're going to do is get that CA to our phone. Uh, important thing to note here is you don't want to use a URL or a link or something like that to get it to your phone. Safari is going to try to jump in the middle here um, when you do that, and that's not something we want. So we want to send it as a file to our phone. You can do that in a bunch of different ways. You could use something like Dropbox and use the Dropbox app on your phone. That's how I'm going to do it. You can also send it as a file uh, in uh, your, an email. Uh, so a bunch of different ways you can do it. I'm going to do it through Dropbox. So you can see... I'm not able to, uh, my phone isn't able to verify the connection is private, can't verify the certificate. So I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to bring in that root CA. And to do that, I'm going to open up Dropbox. And this is my uh, PEM file for that CA here. And I need to get that to the files on my phone. So I'm going to hit the three dots in the upper right. I'm going to do save to device. I'm going to scroll down and do save the files. And I'm going to save it just in the, the root directory here, my iCloud drive. I'm going to say replace because I've already done this before. And the file saved now. So now I'm going to close out of this. And I'm going to open up the files app. And we can see that PEM file is in there now. If I tap it, it's going to say it downloaded the profile. And I need to review it in the settings app. So that brings us to step three. Uh, you, what you'll see here in this process is there's a whole bunch of extra steps to confirm that you're doing something that you actually mean to do. We obviously don't want to be installing um, certificates that are for things that we don't actually trust. So I'm going to open up my settings now. And at the very top, you'll see there's this profile downloaded button that's appeared. And that's new since um, I brought in that CA. I opened it up. We'll tap it. And it'll say, okay, this is what the CA is. It contains a certificate. This is what the certificate is. This is all the details on the certificate. If everything looks good here, we'll hit install. We'll confirm that we want to install by putting in our passcode. Oops, helps if you put it in correctly. And then it's going to confirm again that we have a root certificate that we're installing, the authenticity of the certificate can't be verified, and that uh, the certificate won't actually be trusted for websites until we do an additional step uh, on our step-by-step uh, -step list here. It's step number six, so we'll get to that in a second. Uh, we'll install, and we'll install again, and that's it. So the CA is now installed, but as I said in step six, now we have to to tell the phone to trust that certificate uh, completely and allow it to be used from the browser. So we'll go back 
and we're going to go to the about button here. We'll scroll down to the very bottom. There's a certificate trust settings kind of hidden here and we're going to enable that and it's going to say that enabling the certificate allows third parties to look at the private data that's sent through the connection. Yep, we know that, but we trust the certificate and we trust the server that we're connecting to, so we're good. We're going to hit continue, and that's it. We're, we're all set on the iPhone, and we can confirm that this worked by going back to our connection, and boom, no more not verified, not trusted um, information showing up. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Uh, the videos on our certificates and Niagara series are available in the description below and uh, in the top right hand corner here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.